What is up everyone and welcome to another episode. Today I'm going to be doing something a tad bit different. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is filming the in-depth way that I go about pond hopping. And I get a ton of comments from a lot of people that mainly fish off the bank and fish ponds on how I find a lot of the waters from the bank that I fish. Because, you know, I do fish quite a few different ponds in quite a few areas off the bank. Uh, and I think a lot of you guys can just relate well to that because that is how a lot of people fish, honestly. And I know for the longest time, I fish like that for years. I'm gonna show you guys how I fish bodies of water, specifically ponds from the bank, and how I find new ones. Now, a little disclosure is sometimes I do fish at places that aren't necessarily completely legal, but generally the safest thing to do is just to not litter, don't take any fish, and be respectful if anybody tells you to leave, and then you'll be fine. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so tip number one, and this is the most important tip of pond fishing, is finding where you're gonna fish. And what I like to do in the most effective way that I have found is using Google Maps or some kind of GPS like that. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how I find 90% of my ponds. So the main thing is definitely covering a lot of different types of water. For most places and what I've experienced where I live and everywhere that I've pond fished is most places are terrible. The most common thing I see is the average pond just has a bunch of little bass. And I'm talking like 5 to, you know, 12, 13 inch bass. And the reason for that is when you build a pond, the people that stock it stock generally too many fish. And, you know, I guess that's good for the neighborhood or whatever because you can catch a lot of fish. But me personally, I really don't want to go and just catch a bunch of 10 inch bass most important thing is covering a lot of different areas covering a lot of different ponds and eventually it's going to take some time and trust me when i say this eventually you will stumble upon a little gem so, uh, that's why we're not going to fish this pond is because i've already fished it and i know what's in it and uh we're gonna go for a new body of water right now okay so stop number one we're parked at a baseball park right now it's going to be kind of a far walk uh so i'm going to pack light probably going to bring a frog rod and a uh just a regular rod for like a texas rig or something that's kind of standby in the summer for pond fishing so i'm going to pack up the camera gear and uh let's get walking and hopefully it's not a bust okay everyone just got to the pond and here's a quick look at it right now looks pretty good haven't even made a cast yet but it looks pretty good right here if you can see it's got hyacinths around the whole pond right there but i don't know but yeah water's kind of muddy we also got rain coming in as you can see right up here there's a lot of rain coming in and uh i got an idea for once the rain starts moving in but i gotta put my gopro on and get to fishing right now and see if there's any fish because it's killing me not knowing the first thing i got a frog tied on but the first thing i'm gonna do is sew a little stick bait around and the one i always go to my go-to stick bait is a biospawn exo stick and this color is in candy grass i think i bought a motor oil which might be better for this watercolor i didn't bring that many yeah i have like two darker colors but we're gonna see how this looks in this watercolor this water is pretty muddy from the rain I just saw a fish swirl too. But all I'm doing is uh, I'm fishing this on a weightless hook and it's real easy to fish these baits. And it's, and it's generally a good, good starting point to see if you can get any bites out of a pond or wherever you're fishing. A weightless stick bait is always a good idea just because 
there's one that was a bite right there just because fish bite it i mean it's as simple as that no matter what time of year fish like to bite these and that was already a bite right there first cast i had a bite i don't know if it was a bluegill or what what it was but it was a fish so there are at least fish in here it looks like it's gonna start raining soon which isn't good because i did i have i brought my camera that is not waterproof and the case is not waterproof either but i think i probably have like 10 minutes before it starts to rain and we will deal with that when it comes to it but i don't know i had a bite so far which is good but i'm just flipping these little these little holes right here in these hyacinths see if there's anything that wants to eat but this place this this is a bassy looking pond i mean this pond looks beautiful right here but we got some storms coming and hot this was a bad decision all right we're getting ready to leave so that is gonna be here in five minutes thank god you work wow that was that was a close one right there wow so i left the pond as you guys know with what i thought could be you know just enough time to make it back make it back without getting anything wet because as you guys know who, who watched my vlog i just uh bought this camera and i have it which is not smart at all in a non-waterproof case and when you are a fisherman that is not smart so uh i was walking back and i kept an eye on the storm and i was like ah, i got it like I, didn't, I wasn't that worried and then i stopped to set my camera up and i was going to show you guys where the storm was and as soon as i got everything set up camera totally out of the uh, my case all the way screwed on my tripod right here mic on everything i feel like a couple big raindrops when you know it's about to rain hard and it started pouring so here's me crouching over my camera so i'm trying to keep it dry and i throw it back in my bag close my bag up and i'm across the baseball field here let me show you right here probably can't even see it but right over there is a baseball field i'm all the way on the other side of the field and this is uh, this isn't a one baseball field there's like probably 10 baseball fields on this this baseball park and i'm wearing flip-flops i take off my flip-flops keep them in my hands and i'm just booking across these fields and uh i made it back and the rain really didn't get in my case it is coming down very hard right now and if i was out there for another couple minutes my camera stuff would have been ruined actually look at this my 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 rods are still laying out there because i just threw my rods down and threw my camera stuff in the car and started wiping anything down but there's only a few drops go ahead and put my rods in the back and uh, this camera is going to stay in the safety of my truck for the rest of the day okay everyone here is the deal we are now at stop number two today we kind of wasted a long time after that hectic hectic ordeal that we had earlier but we're at stop number two the pond is over that way and we got another thunderstorm coming in but guess who is not leaving my truck this time but i don't know we're gonna go try the first stop was kind of a bust but i looked on my phone and this pond was pretty close hopefully there's some fish in it i don't know but we're gonna go find out and keep our fingers crossed just got to the pond as you can see over there we got another storm coming this pond looks really good though i mean really good you got some standing timber got some moss i came down here and some kind of fish just busted on something hopefully it's the best i'm gonna start off the frog okay we got fish busting right by the surface right by me right now let's see what they are we got fish busting and thunder
Oh, I got a bite. Got him. There's a fish. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at that. Sweet. This pond's got fish in it, and that one felt a lot bigger than what he is. But that's a, you know, it's still a chunk. Look at that. Look at that right there. Nice fish. Sweet. Man, when I set the hook on that one, it ran like a freight train. Caught that one on the bottom spawn. We got a big old storm. That was cool. There's a bite. Got him that time. Run towards me real fast. Real fast. There's a fish. Yeah. It's about the same exact size, pound and a half fish. Just using that exo stick, pitching in these rocks. And they're hugging the edge of the bank right now. I think I'm gonna need a new exo stick. Like I said, we got a storm coming in. Honestly, I don't mind fishing in rain, but when it's lightning like this, I definitely don't want to be out. I'm trying to catch one more fish and I gotta go. We have a tremendous storm coming right now. Probably the biggest storm I've seen in a few months. I don't know how much longer I can fish. I'm gonna run over here, make a few casts, and we gotta go. Okay, made it to the other side of the pond. It's getting ready to, to freaking downpour real quick. I say I have five minutes max. Shouldn't be fishing right now, that's for sure. There he is. Got him. There's one. Sweet. Look at that. Man, these fish are dark for sure. Look at that. Wow. Seems like I've been running from storms all day long. We gotta go right now. So yeah. I'm gonna go home and I gotta edit this video to get it out to you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, be safe out there guys, especially in the lightning. It's not worth it. Get out of the storm and get home safely so you can fish another day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you next time on the next episode of Big Bass Master One.